He's cleaning out his closet. <laughs> like Eminem. The most common game. Hey. What up, YouTube? Nate here. Lester. Another edition of Monday Raw Pickups. This should be Raw Pickups number 38. And as always, we're going to do some quick shoutouts before we get to the video. Thank you to everyone who commented on the Raw Pickups 37. Uh, lots of interesting things. There's the Sega Activator one. Lester loved it. <laughs> it's not Play Alvis, it's Play A Lives or Play A Lives. Yeah, I think it was Play A Lives or Play A Lives. Yeah, play, play, a, play A Lives. Sorry about that, buddy. I Sorry, do enjoy your channel. If you watched last week's video, you would have also noticed I threw in some consumers distributing. I still call it consumers. <laughs> Only the Canadians <laughs> knew about it. <laughs> Only Atari <laughs> Leaf, Jasbo Vision, The Gaming File, and Burning Toys remembered what consumers did. CJR2. And CJR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all the Canadians remembered it. Yeah. yeah. And Horzo is apparently, he's afraid of it. Austin, the NES kid, he actually requested a Nintendo collection video. And if you check back on the channel, you would have seen we actually did part one of our archiving project where we've undertaken the task of actually archiving all this crap here. <laughs> and we did the N64 one, Nintendo is coming soon. And Gandalf0987 actually remembered playing Jordan vs. Bird. And he thinks Michael Jordan would beat Larry Bird one on one. Yeah. Jordan got the moves, man. Bird plays better on a team in my opinion. Jordan was a one-man team. You shoot this cur. Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel like winning the game today yes. here. This week in pickups, we got a lot of stuff. And we're going to be pretty busy for the next couple of months. Yeah, for the next two or three weeks. Even a month, maybe. So we're doing this all in succession, to tell you the truth. Yeah. But please still comment. We'll still respond to your comments on next week's video. But let's just dive into it. Lots of stuff. If you checked out our Facebook page, you would have seen I put up a picture of me strolling down memory lane with my cousin Jermaine and Oates. Those are not the real names, obviously, but we emptied out the closet and we found all this wicked stuff from our childhood. Jermaine was ridiculous. <laughs> he took the game out of the boxes and put the boxes away so they were all pristine shaped. He has like the collector edition Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. He has a large box Gyromite. He has a large box Lethal Enforcers for the Sega CD still. It looks dope. He's cleaning out his closet. <laughs> like Eminem. The most common game. <laughs> hey man, this is a complete box. Legends of Rock Guitar Hero 3 for the PS3. Uh, I, it's from my cousin, so this means more to me than any other. Yeah. It's from my family. I love it. I will display it. You know, it'll look really nice if I had a large Lethal Enforcers or a Gyromite. Jermaine. Come on, Jermaine. I'm working on it. I'm trying to get that stuff off of him. And he also gave me his Army of Two loose discs, so it was really nice of him. He hasn't played it in a long time. I think he got it because he helped a buddy move. My wife and I were actually at the thrift store, we found this. <laughs> it's a board game for Tetris. All the pieces are in here. We counted each individual, I think it was like 116 game pieces. They were all in here. And it looks like a fun game. I'm actually tempted to try it out one day, but I just wanted to show it to the community. Today, actually, Lester and I were at the thrift store before we came over to shoot these videos. Picked up. Complete in box Resident Evil 2, 2.99 minus. Actually, she only charged me 1.99 for this. She, was, she thought it was a CD. I thought it was. I was looking through the CDs and it was there. I was like, oh my god! And everything they attacked. Lesser has eyes like a hawk. And we actually went to Valley Village today. We found a really wicked. It was 3.99. I paid full price for that at Valley Village. And it says it's for the family computer, so it looks really cool. It has like turbo buttons. I don't know. I think this is more of a display item. Uh, I go to the expansion port of the Famicom, which is on the front with the dust covers. You have to take that off. Yeah. With that, so. yeah. Same store where we found the uh, Famicom games last year. Right. So someone <laughs> is doing Famicom stuff there. It's weird. We gotta find it. And we also picked up some cheap $2 games. <laughs> this one is uh, Sports Superbike 2. I thought it'd be fun. I, if I play it once, it's worth it. Something surfing, I don't know. Two bucks. And Chris Webber on the cover yeah. of, what's this one? NBA Shootout 2001. Uh, this one was a couple weeks ago at the Salvation Army by my old house. Really nice, one of our buddies in the back hooked us up, took us out a box of games. I only really wanted two games out of this bin, but they're all Sega Genesis games. Uh, a boxed Golden Axe, it's missing the manual inside. There was also a Forgotten Worlds. I actually don't know about this game. So if you know about this game, Forgotten Worlds, please comment. I've actually never heard of it. 
And we got a bunch of 99 cent sport titles. Why do I want these, Lester? The case replacement project. <laughs> <laughs> Make it a whole project, yeah, by the way. That's what it is. I think everyone's doing that, though. They buy all these. Joe Montana 93, we got Pat Riley's basketball. Hey, he won one championship in the 90s. Sports stock baseball, I see this everywhere. And NHL hockey. This is actually a really fun game. So. Yeah, we need to wrap around. That always works. Uh, Lester and I found a brand new pawn shop that we've never been to before. Really good deals there, actually. Really, really good deals. Where is it? We won't tell. Where These are is. two for $15 each. Dark Siders for the PS3. Um, it's a game I wanted to try. I know Dark Siders 2 came out and that got really good reviews, and that apparently was a sleeper game. Dark Siders 1, so excited to play that. Got a Super Smash Bros. Brawl for $7.50. This one is complete, I think. Yeah, complete. This one was cool because it had Snake in it, and like it had Kirby and Ness and everything, so that was interesting. Got, I almost bought this before I went to the pawn shop Donkey Kong Returns, and I almost paid 20 bucks for it. But I found this one for seven fifty. I wonder if that's a good game. I've never played it. If you played this game before, please comment. I'm pretty sure I heard it is a lot harder than usual, but it fills in the void of Donkey Kong. I think Matt just picked this up recently as well. Tales of Symphonia: Dawn of the New World. This one was seven fifty again at the pawn shop. A lot more games I want to go back and pick up from there. And two special consoles that I don't want to talk about. Yeah. But we'll get it one day. There's treasures in there. As soon as we walked in, it was crazy. <laughs> Sega Superstar Tennis, I think this one was... Which was this one? I don't really remember, right? I paid less than five bucks for this one. I thought it was cool, Sega. Dedicated to Sega Stoner, right there. Also picked up Tin Head uh, for the Sega Genesis. It looked like an interesting platformer. He reminds me of the guy from Mega Man, like the, the enemy, the helmet gun that just kind of pops Oh, yeah. yeah. That's what I, every time I see Tin Head, it's missing the manual, but I think I got this for like $2.50. Cause I got I got Spider-Man Separation Anxiety for the Sega Genesis. I think this one is two fifty as well. And Fantasia. I'm still going to that lady and I'm cleaning out all her <laughs> Sega Genesis games because nobody wants to go and buy them. Probably is for you anyway. Pikmin one for the Nintendo GameCube. If you've followed the channel, you'll know when I picked up Pikmin two a while ago and I was looking for Pikmin one. I traded this in. I traded what did I trade in? Oh man, a TV. Yeah, TV. I traded in like a nineteen inch flat panel LCD. For this game. The TV I got for free. So. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, Pikmin 1. Got that. <laughs> this feels like a natural endpoint for part one. Please feel free to comment. We'll still respond to your comments next week, but we're gonna continue shooting more videos. We've got lots of cool stuff here. We still got like a whole buttload of stuff from uh, Valley Village. It had like a PS2 blowout. And we still have the EB Games Extravaganza blowout. If you haven't seen people on YouTube picking up Tons of EB games for like, what, 50 cents? Yeah. Two the bucks? Canadians in particular. Was never, it the Canadians? Yeah, it's, uh, they're clearing out whatever's basically spring cleaning sale, right? Yeah. So Five dollars from Kirby's Epic Yarn. I picked up two. <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> hey man, it helped me get the platinum status on Nintendo Club. Awesome. Anyways, from me, Nate. Lester. Thanks for watching. I'm Trevor. <laughs> <laughs>